there was this kind of continual dialogue among writers to kind of, you know, help them understand what they were doing, you know, help them to kind of create a kind of a culture of conviviality. I mean, it's, 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 and so they centered in North Beach, they centered in, in different places. And so Lawrence coming back in the early 50s from like, you know, he studied at the Sorbonne, you know, and got his degree there and then came back to uh, San Francisco to teach initially. And, uh, he didn't find the academic world kind of conducive to what he, and the other thing that he didn't find conducive was at that point, independent bookstores were mostly upper middle class ventures and they didn't, weren't very welcoming to, uh, to kind of these scruffy bohemian artists and writers. And so Lawrence wanted to create a bookstore where the important thing was not the interchange of, of commerce, but the interchange of ideas of reading. And so, like, you know, since 1953, he called City Lights kind of a literary meeting place. And, and, and I, I think we continue in that tradition. But, you know, Lawrence always expresses how important those conversations and those uh, Friday night gatherings over at uh, Kenneth Rex Ross was to him. But we had this kind of really, uh, San Francisco was really rich in kind of the communications among not just writers, but you know, all the artists that were up at, at, and students that were up at the San Francisco Art Institute. And so mm -hmm. it was those various communities. And then Lawrence would also say that you know, the, the other really important element you know, for City Lights was like kind of uh, the garbage collectors that time that were mostly Italian descent and very, and he said if there's predominant through line in their politics is they were anarchists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> And so he, all those various conversations kind of created the atmosphere that, you know, that kind of Lawrence and Peter Martin and, and all the other writers do. And so opening City Lights kind of was an immediate kind of gathering place. And so like hmm. just, uh, Lawrence characterizes those first years that they could, one of the reasons why we stay open late is they couldn't close doors. I mean, and so it just it naturally evolved in, into a, a late night activity. Mm -hmm. uh, and it helped that we had some great bars in the neighborhood, which uh, we still do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, you, you mentioned, um, uh, well, let, let, me, let me just follow up quickly.